Hey guys, I was just going to give a review of a 2013 Subaru Outback that I bought. I bought it with 95,000 miles on it. And shortly after that, the oil light came on. You know, low oil, so I freaked out. I took it in, put some, excuse me, put some oil in it. And I, it kept happening. So it was over 100,000 miles by the time I went in. And it, it was like 102,000 miles and the warranty is out for that at a hundred thousand okay so i might have bought a bad motor so i was kind of freaking out i did an oil consumption test and uh, it did pass okay at the subaru dealer so there was nothing wrong with it uh, apparently 2013 subaru outbacks do you do have to add oil to them uh, it's really thin oil it's zero w20 and the, also the motors in sideways so the pistons are not going up and down they're going like sideways um, other than that I had it until like 153,000 miles and I was in an accident and that was the end of that car but um, I was not injured severely the car looked like it came apart pretty good um, it was a front collision on an angle with another vehicle other than that, like I really didn't have to do too much. I'd say at like about 143,000, one of the uh, control arm bearings was, it, it was going out. Um, so I did have that replaced. And then uh, another thing is to change the gear oil. So there's a transmission fluid and I did change the transmission fluid after I got it. Um, I, I've seen stuff online, you don't need to, you need to. Um, but I did change it and then at 150,000 miles because I changed it right after I got it um, they, they told me it did not need to be changed the, the fluid looked good so other than that I really did not have a lot of issues with it the idle was starting to get kind of weird I was getting a whole bunch of lights on my dashboard and I would have to disconnect my battery and then wait like 30 minutes and then there's this thing online like the check engine light cruise control and like a couple other things were flashing um but other than that it was like really spacious and uh it was so good that i, I did just buy another one it's 2017 but overall i didn't really have like any mechanical problems the valve cover gasket was leaking um actually there's actually two other things i'd like to say so the valve cover gasket was leaking um, oil and then the other thing was the cam seals were leaking so that's behind the where the um, the pulleys are you know for the belt in the front which backs behind the radiator so that was gonna be a really big repair I mean that was gonna be like you know 2200 bucks pull the motor you know put that in put the motor back in and I, I just didn't do it you know I was like Psh, just put oil in it and you know if it leaks oil it leaks oil but um overall i mean it really it ran good i mean i liked it it's spacious inside it's comfortable it's pretty good on gas mileage so i did buy another one um, but i just was going to share those things about um and i will tell you one other thing is that to change the headlight um is difficult because you have to take the wheel well out so i did have that done um on one headlight but um, I paid somebody to do it just because, I mean, it looked pretty involved. Not that, I, could I have done it? Yeah, I could have probably done it, but I was just like, eh. So anyways, guys, um, overall, I'll give it a pretty good review, except for, you know, the motor leaked oil. Um, but I did read a lot of um, stuff online that, like, some motors had, you know, that had problems with it. But I guess it's the luck of the draw. Some people have them until, you know, 200,000 miles and no problem. So anyways, cheers.